time got my Nespresso package. I gotta drink my coffee before my race tomorrow. So it's six o'clock, 13 hours until the race begins. My first, my first 10 hour ultra, that would be the longest. My last longest was about six hours long. So the goal for me in this race is to earn the finishing medal. But what's cool about this race is that you get a finishing lap, a medal after at least two laps, and then you get a different color finishing uh, medal for every lap after that. The number one goal is, is to get 37.5 miles. And the reason for that is, is that, that I could get into the preferred entry into the Anchored Down Ultra 24 hour race that's in August and the only 24 hour race in Rhode Island. So hopefully tomorrow I get another medal to hang either on the wall. I probably should. There's Newport Marathon which is actually a really cool marathon to be a part of. This was only two weeks ago. And this is my first marathon, which was the Providence Marathon. So here's my 30K first place mail for my age group. This was in June, which was about probably a month, a month and a half after my first marathon. And then this one was my last longest race, which was a six hour um, loop. And I think it, I only did like 33.5 miles, but it got me to second place. I'm gonna lay out the clothes, got my trusted backpack. Let's see, got my orange shirt. That should be one. And recommend running in this this thing is like huge right I mean I don't know I'm not I never actually wore a headlamp but this is huge and I, I don't think I want to wear it if I had to wear this overnight running 12 hours but temporarily I mean it was 20 bucks all right so, so we got the wheat thins smear some yummy peanut butter Yum, yum. Got that all over the thing. I love to put as much as I can onto the peanut butter, make it nice and nasty. What I like to do too is I don't put these two halves together. I smush it like a little taco, I guess. And then you have a taco of peanut butter. Do that one. Do that. And these are super great snacks while you're running. Especially, I love to stuff my face with them. And then just guzzle down some water with it. And the water after this tastes so much better than just regular water. In each Ziploc bag or snack bag, whatever you call them. Ugh. Unless you get a napkin too on it. Well, that looks pretty disgusting, right? So now I'm going to. Mmm. Delicious. Yum, yum, yum. You guys haven't tried apricots on your ones. You gotta try it. don't really like these too much. I used to love them if you could get them pitted. See, if you go inside, there's this little pit. And I'm always nervous. I'm always nervous that I'm going to bite on it while I'm running. But, well. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to 
put these right in the fridge and I'll see you tomorrow. Food. Off to bed. Ah, shit. Well, tomorrow's an early wake up. So, hopefully I'll get some sleep before tomorrow's run. And hopefully everything goes well tomorrow. Good night. Uh, it's race day. Uh, let's put coffee on. Ah, oh, yeah, good old Nespresso. That's good. Gotta get my bone broth going. Uh, that's a lot of bone broth. Well, I think I overfilled it. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for food. Getting my hydration going. So what I like to do, so I use liquid IV. I use liquid IV for my uh, electrolytes. So what I like to do, I like to have one, one of these flasks for electrolytes only and one flask or water. I like this lemon lime one. It gives it a little bit of citrus flavor. So, so I load them up. So now got my got my electrolytes. And then I got my water. Alright, I think I'm good to go. A week and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like this. Stay up, Ray. I don't run. Okay. Hard to be best trails in Alaska, Rhode Island. They are pretty awesome. This is a beautiful, beautiful trail on a beautiful day. We couldn't have asked for a better first year. So thank you for helping us make this happen. Uh, I would like to extend a huge personal thank you. We have 900 flags on that course. Um, raise your hand if you're from the Anchor Down community. All right, awesome. Wow, cool. You guys heard of that one? Uh, is anybody here want? You don't have to throw your hand up. Anybody first time attempting trail runner or ultra run? Welcome. Welcome. Thongs, green flags. The entire course is marked with green flags with the race logo on them. When you get to road sections, that will quickly turn into cones. Yes, sir. All right, we all ready? Yeah. That's like uh, that's like my every lap. Yeah. On the fourth lap, a little bit, but like I, you're just gonna like get this one really chill. You're gonna do some negative splits. <laughs> fourth lap, I'll lay it down, man. Really? I think so. Oh, that's how I'm feeling right now. All right. And then who the hell knows what happens after that? I think the only place that I'll lay it down is the last hour. <laughs> I think I'm hoping to make it like to like four o'clock and like 50 minutes yep. so I get that extra boost <laughs> and that's when I would gun or I'll gun it right before that to, yep. to make the next
minutes left for my fifth lap, which is my number one goal, is to make that 37.5. I'm at 31.3 miles right now. So, stay tuned. Legs hurt like a mother. I think I'm getting into that pain cave that people talk about so much. But, yeah. Race update. I'm in my sixth lap. I made my goal of 37.5 miles. I'm at 40 miles now. Oh yeah, I'm in pain. It's very painful. I guess I'm in my, I'm hanging out in my pain cave. You know. All right. All right. Let's see how long I can last. Maybe another lap. Uh, uh, it's been running for seven and a half hours. So. Uh, saying he got a gold medal and he was the first. No, I wasn't the first. I was, <laughs> no one's here to dispute it, so you were the first. Yeah, I, 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 was, I wasn't last. He wasn't sure. the last, what I should have said. There you go. Finished at 45 miles. And uh, yeah, feet hurt.